Hello everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. If you have been wondering where I have been, what's going on, things are changing. And for a full update on what's going on with the channel, why I've been absent and all this stuff, I am uploading a full life update where you can see the direction of the channel, the purpose of the channel, why I've been absent, where, what's happening, what's going. There's a ton of boxes in my house, like full life update is on this channel obviously but it's in a different video different video um i do want to say though for those of you who are confused real quick my channel is a representation of myself so though i will always and forever do pageant content of course i'm going to do things like you know my life and speak on important issues because i feel like it's important to follow the example set by the miss universe that we love and the contestants that support miss universe it's important that we follow their example and be well-rounded individuals ourselves be engaged in our community do other things other than obsess over these beautiful women so i try to be as well-rounded as possible but obviously I will always have pageant content here, okay? So don't worry, you guys, I have been busy. Go check, go check the life update. You'll get all your questions answered over there. Today we are here to talk about Miss Croatia, the representative to Miss Universe 2020, Miriana Merrick. It's Miri, Mirianne, Miriana, let me check. It looks like it's Marina Merrick. However, I was, you know, I, since I took the time to unbox all of my stuff and sit here and make some videos, I'm like, which pageant girl should we talk about? I go through your comments and I've read all of your comments and I know who you've been requesting. And one of the random requests was Croatia. And I'm like, you know what? That's a good idea. I like giving attention to countries that don't always get the spotlight. Um, let's see what's going on over there. What's going on with their contestants? Like how many times does Croatia ever get the spotlight? Let's talk about her. Let's talk about her. I don't know if this was a test or not to see if I was going to be completely and totally honest. It feels like it was gonna be a test, cause Lord, but I'm gonna be honest, you guys know I am. What I do know about her background is that Marin Merrick is a college graduate and she speaks fluent English and Italian from what I know. I have seen her performance. You guys know I love watching the performances and we need to talk about it. There are some things that need to be said and I'm trying to figure out how to say them. I really feel like whoever put this in the comments was trying to test me. You're testing me. No, I'm gonna be honest. I just, I don't want to be, I don't wanna be brutal about it, okay? I don't wanna be mean about it. I wanna be honest though. Um, for me, it's really easy to find criticisms of the top contenders, the top contestants, really good performing girls. It's really easy for me to talk about them because overall it's a very positive performance, a very positive overview because they're so good. Um, but when it comes to countries that don't make it as far, who don't do as well, it's very easy to spot the issues but I want to say it in a way where they're able to understand that it's coming from a positive place and that I do want to help or that I'm judging it in a fair way. I don't want them to feel attacked. It's a little bit more difficult because you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You guys know I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But is this going to be a completely glowing, you know, criticism as you guys are used to sometimes? Uh, no, no. Let's uh, let's start from the beginning, actually. From the beginning, they had the girls introduce themselves in very casual everyday outfits which is actually kind of nice i like seeing you know the everyday look of the women but if you're going to do that you know if you're going to go that route it should still be a proper presentation it shouldn't just be ah just throw on some clothes and come introduce yourself you're still on a stage this is still a show this is still entertainment this is still a performance um so if you're going to choose you, an everyday outfit let it be like one of your nicer everyday outfits let it be one of your more impressive everyday outfits let it be an outfit that more represents who you are um i would prefer it be like a sort of fun fashion type of deal but if not like at least make it like one of your most fashionable outfits the opening introduction of the contestants i'm just like do the ladies just come from lunch um did they, did they think they were just gonna go out for cupcakes like what are you picking your kids up from school well they don't have kids they can't have kids but still i'm just like why are we wearing jean skirts and like it just it didn't seem purposeful it didn't seem like there was any intent behind it it looks like they just grabbed whatever out of their closet to introduce themselves and i'm like ladies you're still competing what are you doing okay then we get to swimwear Oh, this this competition Mirna I okay Mirna won you guys Mirna won so if this is the winning performance 
I kind of want to see what the other contestants brought to stage because I don't want to be mean, but I am going to be honest. It really didn't look like she cared. It really didn't look like she was like putting on her best performance. It really, it looked like Marina couldn't give a damn. It looks like she just, I'm sorry. It didn't look like she cared that much. It, you guys, you are not gonna tell me this performance was a woman who was trying to win a competition, that was trying to wow an audience, that was trying to brighten up a stage, that was trying to impress somebody. This looked like she was trying to impress the husband that she was secretly divorcing behind his back. Like, it, <laughs> this didn't look like an, a performance that was trying to wow anybody. And I was confused, I'm just like, is this a thing? Because I understand that there are culture differences, but I look at things from a Miss Universe judge type of standpoint. I don't care where you are from in the entire world. I look at this from what is Miss Universe looking for? And from a Miss Universe judging standpoint, I'm just like, this is not gonna be acceptable to get into finals, like at all, at all. You will not live through prelims with this performance. And then we get to evening gown. What I will say about the evening gown is that I was happy that it was unique. I, w I didn't expect that. I was just like, okay, wait, this is a gown that's deserving of like a finalist gown. This is a finalist gown. I, I had no problem with that gown and the fact that it was black. I don't mind a black dress. Personally, if you're gonna do a black dress, it better match your personality. It better be a little bit edgy. Her gown was edgy, it was black. I liked the fact that that was kind of a finalist gown. I'm like, okay, she went there. <gasps> you guys. And then I look at her feet. I'm looking, I, oh. <sighs> the inner critic of me was freaking out. I looked at her feet and I'm like, are those winkle pickers? Were you wearing winkle pickers under that dress? You were, not only were you wearing winkle pickers, it looks like she was like wearing lime green, bright yellow winkle pickers. Sis, under a black gown, you are wearing yellow neon green something shoes? I don't even care if they were white, which they're clearly not under a black gown. Why would you draw that type of attention to your feet and then you're wearing winkle pickers? And for those of you who don't understand the, the terminology for winkle pickers, ooh, I hit my camera, sorry. Um, Cause that's how much this is bugging me. Like I'm, I'm shivering, I'm shaking in my seats, looking at her feet, like what is this? She's wearing point shoes, you guys. The point, like the pointed toe, and it looked like they were flats. It didn't even look like they were heels, you guys. It didn't even look like they were heels. And I don't care, if, girl, if you wanna secretly come on stage barefoot, which if you're really tall, you could get away with it as long as your dress covers your feet, no one's gonna know, but I could see them. The judges could see them. You're wearing winkle pickers. <sighs> oh, you guys, I'm like, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even, there's so much more that needs to be said, but those, her shoes had me on the floor. I collapsed when I saw those shoes. Under what circumstances? Who let her do this? And this is something that irritates me about some of the, you know, I get that there are some countries that are not pageant countries. Like you, even the United States isn't that much of a pageant country. I know certain countries are not, but if you are going to go to a Miss Universe competition, you would think you would do some research. That's the one thing that irritates me about some countries. And I'm gonna say this in my, when I get to the Africa video, Lord, when I get there, why don't you guys research? Did you research? Because even I knew as a teenager, because I was interested in pageants as a teenager, but I didn't have the funds to do it. Damn straight, I did not. I'm, I was poor, I'm still poor, but still, broke teenager. But even I knew, as a broke teenager, slight pageant fan, you don't wear those type of shoes. Under a formal black gown? Forget, forget pageant rules, forget that. This is against fashion rules. What were you thinking? It is an insult to my senses. It, it it was an insult to my eyeballs. I need to get off the shoes. The shoe, but the shoes, the shoes. Okay, to the performance itself. Once again, the performance looked like, the performance this time looked like she cared a bit more than her swimsuit gown, but it looked totally unpracticed. It looked totally un unrehearsed. It didn't look like she was really trying. I know children that could have, like the hands on the hips, but, 
So the performance still did not seem very enthusiastic. It didn't seem, she, Lord, it didn't even seem like she was happy. Maybe she was incredibly nervous. Um, she did have a very like sta uh, static smile, very static face and stayed one specific position. And then it was one of those smiles that was totally like non-convincing, like the smile you give someone who gives you like a crappy birthday present, but you're just like, oh, thank you. Like, hey, thanks a lot for these socks. Like it was one of those. And I'm just like, is she, is she that nervous? Or does she really not want to be here? Is it a bad day? Like it, the, all, the whole performance was totally unconvincing. And then the hairstyle. I gotta, I gotta get to the hairstyle because she has a snooky bump. The, you know, the little bump that, you know, like we did that in the United States in the 2010s. Um, but it was something that I saw when I was like in middle school, that hairstyle where you have the, the, you guys know what I'm talking about. It looks like this. Um, yeah, it's like the snooky bump. If you watch Jersey Shore, you know what I'm talking about, but that was something that was done decades ago. And even still, I don't ever remember it being something done in any formal capacity. I don't, have we ever seen that hairstyle on a pageant stage? I've watched a lot of pageants, even the old ones. I don't remember that ever being a thing that was permissible on a pageant stage. So I'm, oh, I can't even talk about this. So I'm looking at this, a hairstyle that an 11, 12 year old, seventh grade middle school girl in the 2009-10 era would have worn and she's got the bang and everything. And I'm just like, this is so out of place. I don't know how the styling goes for these girls, like who styles them, because the dress seems like there was a lot of thought given into that gown. Um, someone had to be educated in some sort of pageant capacity to know to choose a gown like that. But whoever chose the gown didn't make, do the styling. Like the shoes were, those were atrocious. The hairstyle was just like, it was a blatant non, it didn't even fit with the gown. It didn't even fit because it's got a, the dress has a collar and usually when you have some sort of collar like that, you wanna put your hair up. It was a very adolescent hairstyle and then the performance itself was just very lackluster. And I can't. I cannot get over the winkle picker shoes. I just, I want an explanation. As I want an explanation. Please someone find me an explanation. I want an explanation from the Croatian government, from the director of that pageant. I want an explanation for those shoes. Did she stub her show? It, like, were the, did she lose her shoes? Were they eaten by an alligator? Did they fly off into the sunset? Were those the last shoes on the face of the earth in the entire country for her to, like, I want an explanation for why those shoes were necessary. Cause you can't tell me you're wearing a black, a black dress and then you see those shoes and you're just like. Oh yeah, those are the shoes I need to wear. No, I don't, be I don't believe this. I, I want an explanation, I do. But um, Croatia, this performance, styling, everything needs an overhaul. The whole thing, all of it. Every bit, I, I, uh, I can only imagine what it was like in the interview. It seems like from European countries that they treat pageants as like, it's kind of a hobby or something that I do for fun, kind of like playing tennis on the weekend. There's no practice thought effort put into it. Meanwhile, you have the South Americans and some of the Asian countries putting in years of work trying to like get on the stage, trying to win a title. And the Europeans kind of just like, oh, I might, I might compete this weekend. Oh, it'll be fun. <sighs> you guys gotta step it up. This performance was not acceptable. This is going to Miss Universe? No, no, no. So yes, in the end, is this a finalist performance? Even, even in Europe, even in Europe where the bar is not nearly as high as South America and Asia. No, 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 no. No, and I don't even know what else to say. No. In the comment section, kindly leave your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns about what you think about Croatia. I know I surprised you guys with just a random European country. Um, what improvements here do you think could have been made that maybe I didn't state? Um, what did you think about the Winkle Picker shoes? <laughs> I can't, I can't get over it. I can't, 
I cannot. I'm sorry. I won't leave it alone. I want an explanation. <gasps> Let me breathe. I think I'm, oh, tears. I'm, I'm getting tears in my eyes. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you are not a member of my court, please consider hitting the subscribe button because I love hanging out with you guys. I miss you guys. I love you guys. All right. I really do. I love you and I'll miss you. And you know that I will be back in a future video.